Hey kids, we're so glad you're joining us today. This month is all about water and the Victory Kids video is about to start. If you need any information, you can contact us at the church or online at victorylife.church. We are so glad you're here. Enjoy the show. Bye. here on the beach. Don't you think, Pastor Tim? Pastor Tim? <laughs> Were you oh. sleeping again? No, I was praying. Uh, I was praying about something. I oh. Actually, oh. I was having a crazy dream. I was having a dream of like this massive fish trying to eat me. Uh, that was last week. Oh, that was last week with Jonah. Yes. Uh, did you see how far that whale spit him on the beach? Yeah, that was pretty impressive cray cray <laughs> okay impressive. I, I gotta i gotta keep praying no, gotta... no 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 nope the kids are here oh. they want they don't want to see us sleeping on the beach hey kids how you doing uh we're working hard here in victory kids making sure you've got the best teachings available in the uh, land that's right and that's why we're on location a undisclosed location secret location secret no. top secret but like Pastor Tim said, if you can figure out where we are and you let us know, we're going to give you a victory buck. A whole victory buck? A whole victory buck. Yep. I don't know who agreed to that, but I like it. Let's do it. It'll be fun. So what are we talking about this week? This week we are talking about Jesus when he first called his disciples to be fishers of men. I know Jesus. That's good. I'm glad. That I hope you know Jesus. He's a pretty cool dude. Yeah, he is. Uh, so fishers of men, what fishers does that mean? Fishers of men. Well, Pastor Tim, Cranky and Sandy are gonna go talk to Bodie again today. And he is gonna give them a radical story, dude. Those voices sound really familiar to me. I Do we know who does the voices for Krabby and Sandy? Mm, we might. Hmm. Sandy, Sandy, Sandy. What, Sandy, what is it, Sandy. Cranky, what? Where you at, where you at, Sandy? Right here, Sandy, what? Sandy. Oh, there you are. I just wanted to make sure you hadn't left to find Bodie yet. Last week, Bodie said he would have another story for us, and I didn't want to miss it. I just want to see if what you have been telling me is correct. Bodie was actually there? This week, I'm going to have him tell us the story of how Jesus called his first disciples. I thought you said something's about fishers of men. Well, I guess you could say that. Or fishing of men, or... If I could read, show me that script, Tim. There we go. I thought you said something about fishing for men. Well, I guess you could say that. Well, I'm a little confused. Maybe Bodie can explain. Oh, Cranky. Look! Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Help. There's help. Bodie now! Help. Somebody help me. Somebody. I can't swim. Somebody. Oh, wait. I'm a crab. I can swim. Sorry, just kidding. Let's start that part over. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm a crazy, crusty, crabby crab. Do I need to grab the... Yeah, in just a minute. He wants to do this over. What part did you want to do over? Something about fishing for men? Uh, well, I think I'm a little confused. Oh. You said, well, I guess I could say that. Let me keep yeah. going. Okay. All right. Ladies, you ready? Well, I think I'm a little confused. Maybe Bodie can explain. Oh, Cranky. Look, there's Bodie now. Bodie, Bodie. Bodie, over here, over here. Booty, get your booty over here, Bodie. <coughs> All right. Do you want to have him like come out of the sand? <laughs> like a real turtle? Sure. -ish. He's upside down. All right, so you want to come over here and get him. And I'll him. Oh, aloha, my dudes. Hey, Bodie. Hi, Bodie. Cranky and I were just talking about the story you had for us this week. Sweet, Brotatoes. That's a righteous story. I was trying to tell him how Jesus called his first disciples and made them fishers of men. I'm confused. Well, my little crustacean friend, let me see if I can help. 
One day, my bros and I were chilling on a flat. There were no waves to ride. Bummer. There were some dudes trying to catch some radical fish. When a Barney came by and said, Come, follow me, you epic dudes, and I will make you fishers of men. I couldn't believe who it was. It was Jesus, man. I was totally amped. What happened next? Well, bro, they left their nets and followed Jesus. It was so epic. Then my brosifs and I had to follow along to see what happened next. Jesus saw two more dudes and asked them the same thing. They were fishing with their dad. <gasps> How cool is that? Well, next thing I know, those dudes said hang loose to their dad and follow Jesus. It was totally radical, man. Uh, so what does the whole fishing for men thing mean? Well, little dude, those guys chose to follow Jesus and now they're out teaching the good news and leading other dudes to Christ. So instead of casting their nets to catch fish, they're casting God's word, the gospel message, to catch the hearts of men. Right on, little dude, Et. And that's a righteous thing you can do on the daily, man. Thanks, Bodhi, for helping us understand the story. No problem, bro tacos. I'll catch you next week. Cowabunga, dude. Bye, Bodhi. See you next week. Well, Sandy, Bodhi's stories are getting pretty good. So does that mean you want to hear Bodhi's story next week? Totally, dude. I mean... Uh, yeah, sure, that'd be fine, Sandy. Ha 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 cranky. I'm gonna go for a little swim. Have fun! I really like to jump into the water like this. Pastor Tim, wasn't that a great story? That's one of my favorite Bible stories, and not just a story, but something Jesus actually taught us to do. We get to go out and we get to show people how good he is, how much he loves us, and lead him to Jesus. I know, and he planned it from the very beginning. That's amazing, and you know, it goes right with our memory verse for this week. Yes, Matthew 4.19, it says, Jesus said, come follow me and I will make you fishers of men. The disciples were fishing for fish and they weren't even catching anything. No. And here comes Jesus and says, let me show you how it's done. Did this take place when Jesus said, um, hey, cast your nets on the other side, or is that a different no, part? That's a, no, it was a different story. This was um, when he pulled his first disciples, the first four. Uh, so John, Peter, this was after Matthew. He got grabbed Matthew yep. from the tax booth. Yep. I mean, talk about, he was fishing for people at that point. Yeah. He was showing us by yeah. example how to do it. Literally. It's pretty cool. It is cool. I like that he doesn't leave us alone. He teaches us how to do things. Yep. We don't have to figure it out on our own. And then even, even past teaching us, he gives us the Holy Spirit to empower us to go out and share the gospel. That's right. Awesome. I'm going swimming. <laughs> Pictures of men. Yeah. Of men. Of. And women. And children. And dogs. Of people. But not cats. <laughs> <laughs>